All right, everyone, welcome to this Daily Sidereal Astrology forecast for October 7th, Wednesday. My name is Athen. So we're entering into that balsamic phase of the lunar cycle, eclipse lunar cycle, that is, where the moon is now shifting into Leo today, which is where this whole cycle took place, where it started in the uh, solar eclipse Leo energy. So this is a time, and it's still slow, it's still a transitionary day, but I think um, as we go into the rest of this week, it's more introverted, more meditative, it's a time of reflection, specifically around what we've been experiencing in regards to our self-expression, our creativity, passion, and um, anything else that's uh, Leo-related. So with that being said, uh, the moon is going to be well aspected here today, which is quite nice, considering the fact that we still do have a couple challenging aspects um, that has been in orb while there's good supportive aspects at the same time. In fact, the propensity of the day, I think, will naturally lean more towards uh, the easier aspects because there's just more of them and they're more stronger. Um, Jupiter trining up to Pluto today um, and for the next couple of weeks is about change and it's about change to our life path, which currently has been unfolding in regards to that passion. You know, the opportunities have been uh, for the past few months to express ourselves, to connect, to have that more playful attitude on life. And with Pluto in, in uh, Sagittarius, it is forming a good change to that. So I think we'll, um, as the next couple of weeks unfold, just see more of that change. I think we'll naturally be open to it. I think there is good positivity coming into the mix. And um, the more open we are to change, I think that just supports it even more. Now, along with that, Mercury is still very close to that north node. Uh, he's going to go conjunct tomorrow while Mercury's retrograde. Um, and because of that, Mercury will be sextiling up to Saturn. So the um, energy has been in Virgo. And this has been the reflection in regards to the analytical energies of ourselves, uh, whether it's the work, the craft, the daily sphere of things. All of that has been in flux. Mercury is going to go direct here on Friday. So he's starting to slow down here this middle part of the week. And um, over the North Node, there's a lot to be learned. There's a lot about our life path changing and unfolding this week. And the more adaptive we are, the more open we are to change in general, then um, it's just going to support that um, energy. So shifts happening it's all supportive the long-term approach things are happening in the big picture and um, there is quite a bit we can learn about that here today it's also another great day for taking care of the routine stuff anything that requires that analytical energy which is mercury sex dialing up to saturn so with that being said uh the sun is easing up that square up to pluto which is very nice actually so yesterday this was the strongest energy so I think naturally our self-expression will slowly over the day become easier. And I think wherever we drew that line yesterday, which was Pluto in terms of how we express ourselves, um, etc., cetera, um, I think will be an integration day with that. I think naturally um, that energy will begin to flow a lot easier. And whatever we did change, uh, continuing to be open to that change uh, will be a good way of working with that. Now, the perhaps most challenging aspect of the day within the context of these other aspects is that Mars is opposing up to Neptune. That, that will have gone exact um, last night, and um, it is still going to be quite strong. But we get it. There's something we understood or something that clicked yesterday about uncertainty, about going with the flow, not needing to have everything figured out. And it's not really understanding it intellectually, but it had it, it, its experience. We've, in, we've had the opportunity to go through the motions of it which is now being integrated into the daily sphere. So uncertainty, yeah, um, you know, wanting to get things done, wanting to know where things are going, how our goals are turning out, you know, all of that is unknown at the moment, but the more open we are to that uncertainty, then it actually does become a very meditative, a very spiritual time actually for relaxing into that. So that's going to be the general energies. Today, um, the sun is a nice aspect up to the moon in this uh, entering the balsamic phase. So there is this ease of our self-expression. And I think that's going to be um, just nice for most of the day. Uh, the moon trining up to Uranus, a great day for mixing things up. But I feel like the um, strongest energy of the day will be continuing to have that presence, have that uncertainty be a um, positive thing. And Mercury shifting, making changes to the daily sphere. We're understanding more about our life path, what's unfolding. We should be quite patient about that naturally since Saturn is well aspected up to it. And the uh, self-expression could flow a lot easier, especially with the moon in Leo. You know, and, uh, the balsamic phase, it just happens more 
easy. It's just more meditative. It, it happens a little bit more intuitively. So uh, reflection and internalization is the theme of this remainder of the week before we uh, get into this new moon here next week on Monday reflecting on the past few weeks in regards to the self-expression and stuff and uh, yeah and continuing to move forward and being adaptive and uh, taking things in that long-term approach so i hope you guys have a good one thanks for watching and i'll see you all tomorrow take care